A. Aerodynamics. And looking at this big A, I think uh, we have to, it, it rather stands for Adrian rather than aerodynamics. Obviously, he's our guru. If you go back to the early 60s, then up until that point, the emphasis on aerodynamics had purely been on drag reduction. Nobody had properly considered that if the car created downforce, then that would push it into the ground and give the tyres more grip. Which inside the car just feels fantastic if you have a lot of downforce. <laughs> Since then, the rate of development has been huge. The amount of grip the car can produce is really what makes the drivers these days enjoy Formula One. It can be the make and break of the season. B. Boobies. Braking. Brakes are one of the most impressive aspects of a Formula One car. It's the thing that blew me away most when driving an F1 car the first time. How quickly you stop. For instance, if a car is travelling at 300 kilometres per hour, that's roughly 200 miles an hour, then it will come to a complete rest in around four seconds. Everyone thinks you've got to go fast by pushing the throttle, but the, the technique used when braking can make you very fast as well around the track. The brakes are a fundamental part of it, and braking distances every year get ever shorter. C. CFD, Computational Fluid Dynamics. To make it simple, it's a big computer that basically calculates uh, the changes you do in terms of aerodynamic on the car. With the wind tunnel model, then you physically have to manufacture the wind tunnel parts, test it on the model, analyse the results. With CFD, you can have results the next day. We don't have much testing on the track, so it's really important uh, back at the factory to work on that. D? DRS drag reduction system. DRS is a way of making overtaking easier. I think because we had it now a couple of years, we, we understand how it works. Basically, it opens the rear wing to make the cars go faster. We have a trigger on the steering wheel, uh, which we can pull. Overtake is not guaranteed, I'm glad to say, but it does make it easier. We, in a way, learn to love it or learn to hate it, depending on where you are, in front or behind, but uh, I think generally it's positive. Ferrari, the cars that make Formula One sing.